If there is trouble, come get me. In the chair, don't get up. I swear on the gods, I will push you over if you do. Oh, you've gotten up. What am I going to do? Money, I will pay you money to get back in the chair. No, sp why is this happening? All I ever wanted was to learn a little magic, maybe smite a few enemies. So, you're not one of the bandits. That means you're trespassing here now. Just like a bandit. Huh, I'm too pretty to die. Run! That stranger's going to leave, Misha. Just wait here and we'll leave you alone. Huh, you're still here. Well, I didn't want to do this, but you, you leave me no choice. I'll have you know I'm no ordinary witch. Have you ever seen a Dramora Lord? Well, uh, his name is Dravas, and he's a trained killer. Don't believe me? Th then feast your eyes on this. I hope you're not staying out of trouble. See, I told you, that's a Dramora Lord, in the flesh. Leave, before I sick him on you. Well, that... that's because he's channeling his rage. Just look at him. He's a killer. He's... Oh, gods, it's true. He's completely useless. They call it a bird's eye. Some say it's because it touches the sky. Others say it's because it's infested with hags. 
But you saw it. Mother Agus is dead. All my sisters too. Which means I'll probably never become a matriarch. No! Of course not. I mean, you people kill the mothers, right? Then, <laughs> why would I want to be one? No way, not me. I'm just a regular old student from the College of Windhelm on her way back home. Oh, well, in that case, maybe I do, but only because they're extremely powerful. It's not like I, you know, want to look like a vulture, <laughs> really. Really? You do that for me? But we just met. Oh god, I didn't just talk you out of it, did I? Because there really might be a way, even without Mother Aegis. It's incredibly risky, and you might have to get your hands dirty. It requires ingredients. Well, not really ingredients, as in feathers and plants. I don't want to scare you, but I need organs, and I need them fresh. Real fresh. As in, ripped out from the body. Yeah, about that. I actually need organs from living people. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be people you like. Oh, there's going to be tabooed in a cauldron, and a lot of other ingredients. But that's not what I need to finish the brew. I need people. I know that sounds wicked, but there's no other choice. You understand, don't you? Great! I know just the family. They live in a small cottage west of here, across from Lost Echo Cave. There's something about them I don't like. Something off. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure they're nice people once you get to know them, but not nice enough that I'd feel guilty about harvesting their organs. I need the father's liver, the mother's toes, and the child's heart. If you do this for me, I'll pay you in gold. No, better than gold. I've got a special reward for you. You'll see. Ah, hello. Ah, hello. Here I come. Whistle if you need me, okay? Welcome, traveler. It's been a long time since we've had an adventurer come through these parts. Surely you'll want to come in and rest your weary feet. No, no. Don't thank me. My wife and I enjoy the company. My little one even more so. Say, you've got a nice set of earlobes on you. Where I come from, those are good luck. And good luck is contagious. You must stay the night. Really, Papa? What about her toes? Are they big too? You said toes bring the best luck. Oh, I don't know, child. We won't know until she takes off her shoes. But my money's on you, little giant. You and your mother are blessed with very large feet. Really? You mean it, Papa? Of course, my darling. Now go tell your mother we have a guest. Okay. And remind her to sprinkle salt on the floorboards by the entrance. The home has to be purified before a guest steps inside. In any case, judging by the smell, it looks like we're having stew. 
I hope you like Charros. So you must be the visitor Rennie told me about. Let me get a good look at you. Oh, I like the shape of your nose. I had a dream about a Falmer once, and he had the exact same one. That Falmer in my dream was very old, but had good skin, which means you'll age just as well. But excuse my manners. My name's Bet. The little one's Rennie, and you've met my husband Frodmar. My husband does like to exaggerate. Most adventurers can't tell the difference between charas and chickens. Last time it was dolphin pie, but if you look close, you'll see the flint of silver he keeps under his tongue. But for being a good sport, why don't you have a quick taste? Chickens or charas, I'm sure you'll like it. When you're done, go on and grab a seat at the head of the table. It's bad luck for the guest of honor to sit anywhere else. Is the meal ready yet, my love? The more I work, the hungrier I get. And it's been a long week. Did you place the elf's ear in the boot like I told you? I've been doing that. And chewing on them as well. Plus, I put one of those purple flowers under the cooking pot in the bed. Oh, love. Purple? You didn't leave nightshade under the pot again, did you? I told you it goes under the pillow. <laughs> oh, silly me. How's that rhyme go again? When you're feeling blue, the color's true. When you're feeling high, use shades of night. What would I ever do without my Renny? Do you have any children, Traveler? Well, you're still young. You have time yet. Some people are in such a rush, though. They try raising children that aren't their own. A disgusting practice. This whole notion of adoption. Oh, Fradmar, you're going to scare our guest. She knows what is and isn't the sin. You're right. I apologize for making things so dour. My, that smells delicious! Oh, no, you don't. The guest eats first. But not before we have a little conversation to whet our appetites. So is it true what they say? Have the dragons returned? Such a shame, but this is what happens when people forget the old ways. Every home should keep a dead bird over the mantle to ward off flying creatures. It's not just for crows, even feathers will do. Ah, southerners with their troubles. Dragons, schmagons. It's what they get for living in such hot weather. <laughs> Mama, can I show the nice lady my bug collection? After you finish your stew. Don't oh, let the girl have her fun. We can put the stew back in the pot for now. Let it warm up some more. Yay! It's really impressive. I keep it on the table over there next to Rengir's skull. He keeps an eye on it for me. Your brother always did enjoy playing with bugs, eating them too. Not anymore, Papa. Not after you took away his teeth. Ah, that's right. Poor Rainy was scared Rengir's skull would eat her collection. So I had the lower jaw removed. Children have such wild imaginations. In any case, we have the jaw in a drawer for safekeeping. Oh, it's simple. The poor boy didn't listen to his mother. I can't tell you how many times he'd stay out past curfew, or forgot to leave the rabbit's feet hanging by the railing. So one day, he came home too late, and it was his body hanging out by the railing instead. I don't mean to be so callous. But it's the truth. Of course, Frodmar wanted to have Rengir stuffed, but thankfully the wolves didn't leave much save the bone. Aye, that would have been in poor taste. You don't want to honor a child so foolhardy. Still, he was our boy, and hopefully the gods won't mind us keeping his skull as a memento. Here you go again, husband, making things awkward for our guest. Can we just enjoy this nice meal I've cooked for all of you? You're right, love. This is a joyous occasion. Our first visitor in, what is it, months? 
Yes, the last one didn't stay for very long. I warned you about her. She had a mole on her cheek that was clearly a Daedric mark of some kind. Not that you could spot it the way you've been lately. Have you been putting the sheep's blood in your eyes every morning like I told you? We killed the last sheep two seasons ago, as a sacrifice for the gods. Oh, right. What about this season? Did you remember to leave the sacrifices by the altar? Honey, I thought you were taking care of it. Damn! We can't! We can't! Inigo, wait there. Inigo, do this. Inigo, kill that. Inigo, wait some more. Sometimes I wish I was not so agreeable. Ready? No, my mind is a song without words right now. Lead the way. me down. I mean, I was starting to doubt you just a little, but then I told myself, have faith, Misha, have faith, and it worked. I have the whole ritual prepared, right this way. Watch your step. <laughs> Got a little carried away with the blood, and you don't want to slip and fall from here. Wow, this woman had huge feet, and do you know what they say about women with huge feet? I don't either. Anyways, in you go. Okay, what comes next? Do I slaughter another goat? I suppose another goat wouldn't hurt. Can you do me a favor and grab a goat hide from the crate? Then toss it into the cauldron. Or was it the hawk beak first? Then the goat? I know the feathers are last, but what comes before that? Oh, damn it, Misha. Why can't you remember? the crone you did it at least it sure seems like you did the way that cauldron's bubbling well it's kind of scary but do you know what's even scarier not doing it but yeah just in case let me give you your reward now it's the spell tome that peddler gave me Dravas doesn't fight but he does draw attention you know how it is Pretty much everyone attacks the Dramora first. I'm glad you like it. You do like it, don't you? Oh god, should I have given you gold instead? Well, I'm sorry, but I guess it doesn't matter now. In about a minute, I'm going to be too powerful to care about anyone but myself. I call upon the crone of old to boil the phantom of bubble toad. His swirls of guts and liver chopped. Cook the first in this blackened pot. Eye of nude and flux of crow. Boil the broth with the second stoves. 
fillet of snake and magic's dark drain the life of this child's heart. <whistles> Round about the cauldron stirs, from mortal skin to withered bird. From these four lives he drinks the stew, from which to hag be born anew. who are chained to the ground. But I don't need to explain myself to you. Take your worthless tremora and leave this place. I have spriggans to torture. 